Hello, 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 everybody. Once again, welcome back to my channel. One of these days, I will get my emotes open on the first try instead of the second or the third. Today is not that day. How is everybody doing? How is everybody's week so far? Mine's good. Mine's good. I got updates on my medical situation, which I'll explain as we are going along. But today I thought we could work, like I said, and well, I thought, I literally said it in yesterday's video, we are working on an ice rink. Now I've already placed down all the ice code because this was going to take far too long to just do on, on video and nobody wants to see that. Laid down on the sidewalk. I actually laid down this pathing, which actually leads us to Sprinkles. She is going to be the one who is going to be running in said ice rink. I'm not going to do the interior of, blah, 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 interior of her house today because I have a few furniture pieces I still need to get from a treasure island that I want to have in my catalog to be able to use. And I was planning on adding another build into this, just like a giant flower field or something here, but the space is much bigger than I thought. I don't have any of the sidewalk down. I don't have the houses placed get back over here and I will show you where we are on the map. So we are just right down there in the le uh, left, right, right hand corner. And as you can see, we have where she sprinkles house ready to go. I'm thinking for the flower field, that'll be the next build is going to be sky and flurry. I am still waiting on a bunch of villagers to ask to leave. I still need five to get out of here. But it is what it is. Hopefully, eventually, they will all move out, preferably before Christmas. But we're going to go ahead and get started today. I've already added just a couple of extra details here. I did these off camera. My house was here. I have gone ahead and moved it because once this gets fenced off, I'm going to be stuck. So let me pull up my map. Again, I have my house set in its permanent spot up there on the cliff. Museum is going to go up in the second row over from the right. Campsite's gonna go up there as well. So far, those have not been moved. I have not cleaned up those builds yet, but I think I wanna do a stargazing area up there. But we'll go ahead and get our stuff and we are off and rolling. Oh, hello, kitty cat. Now is not a good time to be rubbing all over the Joy-Cons. Yes, all of YouTube heard you, I'm sure. I literally just got home from work not too long ago. I opened the door. I had a cat stampede to get out into the deck, um, which doesn't have heating or anything, so I couldn't let them out there for very long. I did let them out there for a bit, though. I'm going to put the archways down first. I want one entrance here. And then I want the other one to match up with this pathing. So right here. Just so you can get on and off the rink. Whichever way you want to go. I mean, I know you can walk on ice and tennis shoes. You just need to be very careful. I am, I am not that careful. I am clumsy. I can trip over absolute thin air. Hello, kitty cat. Uh, yes, I know. You're on my lap. God, your nose is cold. He has the wettest nose of any cat I have ever had. Okay, stay in my lap and please, please lay still and watch your paws. My lower stomach, ever since I started getting it looked at, has apparently become their favorite place to walk. Um, other than in front of my screen right about now. Excuse me, sir. Yeah, you're a whole 12 pounds of fat. I can't see past you. Anyway, on to my update. So, as I have mentioned, I will be having surgery on January 16th. Okay, cat, you gotta get down. Ouch. Sorry. Just straight up drop the poor guy. Sorry if you guys heard the crash. He hit the cord on my headset. I'm sorry, buddy. He's okay. I'll give him a treat once we're done. But on to my update, as I said, I am having surgery on January 16th. I will be home for 
let's see, initial recovery is at least two weeks. After that, I have to be quote unquote light duty. I can't lift anything heavier than a milk jug for quite a while, which I am not really looking forward to. But got the letter in the mail yesterday from my husband's insurance. Now I am supplemented on his, um, he works in the mines. So the way the mines work is with a spouse, if your play, if the spouse's place of work offers insurance, they have to take it in order to be supplemented, subsidized, whatever on the mines insurance. So we did that. All right. A uh, quick segue here. Pathing's done. We'll start grabbing items. But he added me to his insurance and his insurance sent me a letter yesterday. They are going to cover my surgery, which I, I cried for a good, probably 10 minutes after I opened that letter. I read it over like four times, you know, I got tears streaming down my face, just the sigh of sigh and tears of relief that left my body. I, it feels like a huge weight has just lifted like my arm I mean my arm's still sore but I'm starting to think it was stress is what it was because it's not hurting as badly um heat is helping more than the cold which I think is the other problem is it's been getting cold uh I think that's everything I want we'll see I might need something else but that is, that is all taken care of. I am expecting to be off work for at least a month, if not longer. Which, hopefully, I won't go stir-crazy while I am home, but we will see. Now, the boulder is, I saw this on, this is not my original idea. I saw it on Melissa Versus' videos. Now, I'm not sure if she's the one who came up with it or if it was somebody else. If it was somebody else, I apologize. But she uses them, uses the boulders to represent like giant piles of snow and the stools are snowballs, which I do have the stool recipe. I just don't have any crafted right now. Uh, we're just going to think like the Zamboni came over the ice and just piled everything up. Oh, hi, Sky. That, that's fine. That's fine. But that, that happened yesterday and I... I feel so much better. I have been so worried about that. I've been so scared just trying to figure out, you know, what we were going to do while I was going to be off work because we just bought the house back in May. We split all the bills 50-50 and me being off work because, I mean, I make good for retail. I make relatively good money. Um, and let's see the illuminated tree I want in the center. There we go. Uh, yeah, that'll work. Oh, actually, just thought of something I did want to use and completely forgot. But after, after I got the letter here, uh, letter read through it, like, although, like I said, my arm still hurts, I could feel the pain starting to dissipate. So I really think it was stress was the majority of it. I mean, the upper part of my arm still hurts a bit, but the rest of my arm is is fine. It still hurt a bit when I woke up this morning. I think the other part of it is the cold. And I turned our heat back up. It got nice out over last weekend, so I just turned it down and I just, you know, completely spaced and didn't even think to put it back up or turn it back up, excuse me. But that's where we're sitting right now. Um, my husband is going to be able to take at least one day off work, so he'll be able to be with me. My sister's going to take a couple days off work because, I mean, we're both worried now. Like I have mentioned before, my mom did pass away from kidney cancer back in 2015, and I am nobody if not my mother's daughter. Uh, I am almost fit an image, act like her, talk like her, certainly did not get her school smarts. Like she, she got straight A's in any, and almost everything. I couldn't get an A in math, even if it was the only way to save the human race. I'm sorry, we'd die out. And that's just how bad I am at math. All right, real quick here, I believe our 
ice rink itself is done, so now we're gonna work on the spot by Sprinkles house, which is gonna be yet another fake building with the store sheds. I've been obsessed with these things so far. And then a few decorations just right in here. I'm not gonna do anything over on this side today, just until I decide what I'm doing over here to the right. So while well, I grab these, but um, so my mom, when she had her tumor out, she, it had an, an established blood flow, which basically comes from it being there for so long. And so when she got into recovery, she needed, she needed blood, a blood transfusion, platelets, and plasma, which are, you know, of course, other parts of your blood. So I am hoping and praying and uh, part, mostly very terrified here that I am <laughs> going to end up needing all of that and more. Oh, hello, striped kitty cat. He's back, so when I accidentally dropped him, yeah, he's fine. Uh, I think he's just gonna hopefully climb into my lap and lay down this time. Please learn to retract the claws. I already have scars on my leg from you. Anyway. But that's where I'm sitting right now with all of that. Um, my boss has just been absolutely wonderful and his wife is dealing with her own health journey right now and hers is not looking very good and so he's just he's just been fantastic which really really helps out you know he let me know you know I can talk to him anytime which I mean I didn't actually I need those back that have space and I never really talked to him much before. It was like nothing against him. He's a really nice guy and everything, but I would just start to go to work, do my job, go home. And you know, he's got stuff to do in the office and he's got all this other stuff going on. Uh, let's see if I have the right simple handles. Nope. You're probably not it either, are you? Nope. All right, please. Okay, we got our ice skates. And I am going to go through these videos and add codes back into the descriptions for what I can find. Most of these, I just go onto the design portal and type in what I'm looking for. So like this ice skate one, I just literally typed in skates in order to find it. So got that. And I actually, uh, I want a couple counter tables. I should have a couple see if I do and then I need to get some shoes out to represent the ice skates. Yeah, I do have a couple. And we want shoes in blue and white. So we're gonna take those, take these, take those, and take the bluer boots. It'll be all bougie. Why did I say that? Anyway, that was embarrassing. go ahead and place these down but yeah I just I you know go to work do my job come home I usually keep to myself which is nothing against my co-workers I love my co-workers they're amazing but I just we work retail we're around people I just want to do my stuff and go home that's <laughs> just <laughs> want to go home or it's quiet or it's just me and the cats. The only thing I have to listen to if I want to is video game sound, which right now actually um, is, of course, Animal Crossing. I was working on my Kingdom Hearts Platinum. But I didn't save one night after going before going to bed. I was like, oh, it's no big deal. You know, the game will just pick back up where I am. Well, the cats got into where all of my cords were, or are, pardon, and hit the um, power strip where the majority of everything is plugged in, and they unplugged it, which set me back a couple of hours, which if you've ever worked on a Kingdom Hearts Platinum, you know I am material farming for the ultimate weapon Keyblade to go into the Sephiroth fight. So I had almost everything. 
No, well, not quite almost everything, but I was a good portion of the way through to be able to make to make Ultimate Weapon, Goofy Shield, and Donald's Staff, which are more trophies I still need is to get all the shields, all the staffs, and all the keyblades. And they set me back about an hour. And I turned the game on and saw that, and it's like, you know what? Screw this! <laughs> Whoops. I have slowly been going back and working on it again, but last night I wasn't feeling the best. I was like, you know what? I need the game that I always play when I'm not feeling good. Because my lower stomach's been uncomfortable, you know, the fibroids are pressing. It's an odd feeling and I don't like it. Grab a flower and a bush. So I took my Kingdom Hearts disc out of my PlayStation. I have story so far, so it's got pretty much everything on it up to Kingdom Hearts 3, which of course is separate, which I need to get rid uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind because I, I know they added some more stuff to it. But pulled that out of the PlayStation and plugged it back in Diablo 3, which is the game that did me in to video gaming, as I call it. My husband moved in. Um, eventually asked me if he could bring down one of his game systems because he was living 45 minutes away. We ended up meeting online. And he asked if he could bring one of his game systems down. I was like, yeah, absolutely. You know, by all means. Because he was getting bored. And he was actually supposed to pick me up from work one night. I was still walking back and forth to work at this point. So, I mean, I could have walked home. It would have been no problem. But he was supposed to pick me up. And I got a hold of him. I was like, hey, where are you at? Like, I'm done. And he's like, oh, crap. <laughs> he was still at his apartment at the time playing video games with some friends, which was fine. You know, I didn't mind. And that was when he asked if he could bring a game system down. I was like, yeah, absolutely. Sure, by all means. And they were playing Diablo 3. Why did I pull out two balloon lamps? Anyway. But... So I was watching them play and getting very intrigued and very pulled into the story, which is what always does me in. It's always the story. So we started playing together and at that point we are one PlayStation split screen. And if anybody's had to play split screen before, there's more decorations as I keep talking. You know, when one person's going through their inventory, the other one's sitting there twiddling their thumbs. And that gets very annoying after a while. And so, my poor husband was finally like, and he was joking at this point, but he finally was like, all right, we got to get you your own game system or this ain't working. And so, <laughs> he, he traded in his Xbox One that he had at the time, the controllers and everything, to be able to get me my own PlayStation 4. And he had a PS4 Pro, so I just had a regular 4 which I had until we got our PlayStation 5s and we got those on launch. Um, let me see if I can't fit one of those. I'm just grabbing some smaller decorations here. Anyway, so, oh, customization kits. So I have, I have played the heck out of Diablo 3. I have the platinum and everything. That was all I played for ages and ages and ages until he got me started on Final Fantasy XIV, which the first time he tried, like, Diablo III was all I had under my belt, and XIV was just way too daunting. Of course, I did the same thing to myself with Kingdom Hearts the first time I tried to play it and just couldn't do it because of the controls, but tried it again, gotten better at it. Um, I think I want to make this look like a piece of ice. I also saw this on Melissa Versus videos and thought it was a grand idea. I just don't know where I'm going to put it. So, got me, you know, my own system and played the heck out of it. And I'm still playing it. Uh, I play through the campaign and then I slowly up the difficulty. So right now I'm on Torment 5. And my goal, you know, you don't need this for the Platinum. But my goal is to hit Torment 16. I would love to do that. I think I'm going to put the ice cube over here. I think that would just be, just be absolutely really cool. Uh, no, it matches too much. I know I am, I am weird and I am well aware. Uh, I think we'll put it here. So I am 11 
torments away. And the campaign isn't horribly long. I mean, I like to drag it out because I like the characters, I like the stories. Put that there. Um, I think I want this turned off. I think. Um, yeah, I like that. I am very sorry if you heard yet another cat. That was my cat butters. Uh, <laughs> He's the tan and white one. Let's see if this tree's too big to go in here. Uh, no, actually, I think it's okay. Uh, what do you guys think? Is that, is that fine? Yeah, I suppose that'll work. But, actually, with that, I got so into talking, I apologize. I'm sure there are plenty of people over there snoring and drooling because I can just go on and on and on. That is one thing I inherited from my mom, although she was really good about getting to a point. I have ADHD, so I talk in circles. <laughs> On that note, we are done. We have Snowflake's Ice Rink all done. We are right by Abel's, so you can just come out of Abel's if you want to walk across the ice. Of course you can. If you want to stop over at Sprinkles and rent yourself some ice skates, by all means, you can do that too. I will leave you with this. I am actually, I have not decided what we are doing tomorrow for Hallowmas yet. I need to figure it out because I close at work tomorrow. So it's going to be a later video unless I decide to record it here in a little bit. If I can figure out what I am doing. Um, <laughs> I have some houses placed, so I may work on something over there. I have like Sasha placed, Rodeo's placed probably do something on the Christmas side, so probably with Sasha, because the pumpkin patch was over on the Halloween side. But on that note, I am going to go get this video uploaded. I'm going to get myself something to eat. I'm going to get a couple of ibuprofen. I can feel my arm being a little bit painful, but it's actually nowhere near as bad as it's been. I've been able to just have it comfortably on the armrest as opposed to having it over my head or hanging down towards the floor. So I will leave you guys with that for today. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video. I know it was a very rambly one and I do apologize. After the holiday, we'll be back to editing me and I, we won't have to worry about the rambles so much. But, oh my God. On that note, hello, there we go. Um, I don't really have like a good ice skating pose. I don't have the yoga ones yet. I should probably go get that. But we'll just <laughs> dance here while I send you guys off. Have a good night, guys. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you tomorrow with day six. Have a good night, guys. Bye.